I think my first campaign was when I was two, and I don't remember this, but the night before my first shoot, I cut my own bangs like this, <laughs> like this short. And um, so in my first baby guest campaign, I'm wearing a bandana. Yeah, my first billboard was above a coffee bean across the street from the Beverly Center. And there's a picture of me when I'm like five, like in front of my first billboard. <laughs> Now when I see myself on a billboard, I like can't even go near the block. Like I get hot sweats and I like can't. So I just ask my friends to send pictures for me because <laughs> I can't go anywhere near it. I was obviously doing everything that everyone does, all the crazy long castings and go sees and weird places and dungeons in the middle of London where you don't know where you are. And there was one point where my agent called me and he said, Kareen Reitfeld wants to meet you and I said, are you sure she said the right name? Cause like, I don't, you know, I have boobs and a butt and <laughs> whatever. But um, that's when I shot the Tom Ford campaign later that month and that's where it started for me. It's funny because obviously I'm not the best on the runway. Okay, everyone, we did it. Gigi said it, I know it. Um, but what do you do? I never was taught how to walk on the runway. No one ever and maybe that's because it moved really quickly for me that people just assumed that that was something I knew. So I'm working on it. I went to prom all four years. But my senior year, I wore a red Hervé Leger dress. But it wasn't, it wasn't the, the normal bandage. It was the one where they had the short sleeves and a beautiful braided neckline and uh -huh. stuff. So I loved it. It was red, bright red. My first kiss was at my friend's house, we were watching a movie, and I wanna say it was a horror movie, I can't remember, but um, I was with the guy that I liked. I was like 14 or 15. We both had braces, and we, um, I think my friend and her, the guy that she liked, like left the room. So we just had our first kiss, and it was horrible and awkward, and you know, lots of metal <laughs> happening. <laughs> Yeah, I, w I was happy to wait a while till, till our next kiss. I think it was more just about the first kiss thing than like, I actually wanted to kiss him all the time, but. I love birthdays, love birthdays. Um, I think it was my 13th birthday. I'm a huge Kobe Bryant Lakers fan. And so for my 13th birthday, my parents brought me and some friends to a Laker game and I got to wear a yellow and purple wig. My braces were yellow and purple. I had my whole Kobe uniform on that I wore to school all the time. I played basketball with the boys at lunch every day. And um, I had a Kobe Bryant cake. I met Kobe last year at Taylor's show in LA and like I couldn't even talk. Taylor was like, go over, say hi. And I'm like, I'm literally shitting myself, I can't. Like, Kobe Bryant's the only person, one of the only people that I get starstruck around. But um, his whole family's so nice and I don't get as nervous around them, so I usually talk to them and then I feel like I kinda know Kobe a little bit, you know? <laughs> I have so many girl crushes, like it's actually insane. But I think Rihanna. Yeah. Everyone says Rihanna? Yes. Okay, then Beyonce. I feel like Beyonce just has a beautiful presence. I mean, you obviously see her on stage and she's Beyonce. <laughs> And then, like, in person, she's just, she's quiet and shy and classy and beautiful and calm. How can someone just turn from such, like, an angelic being, like, floating through a room and then just be such, like, a powerful force on stage? My mom gives really good advice. She said, you know, when you start working, you better be the most hardworking, nicest person in the room because if you're not, then there's always gonna be someone prettier, nicer, and more hardworking. <laughs> it's always a first impression, and I think that that's the thing I, I mostly just try and remember, is that you have to give your energy for that time because it's the time that counts, and that's how the person's gonna remember you.